Okay, I've been wrestling with these easy adjust clutches for a while, and just tonight I figured out how they work. I'm going to share this with everybody to save everyone else the aggravation and frustration of these easy adjust clutches, because they're pretty simple once, once you figure it out. Pictures on the internet don't explain the process. They, they're very good pictorials of what's happening, but they don't explain this process. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how this works. First off, there are several wavy washers here that go on this shaft. Now the shaft should be free of ridges. If there's ridges in your shaft here, it's no good and it needs to be replaced. Once your shaft has no ridges in it, you've got these wavy washers and it, the sequence is two wavy washers and one flat washer. And you, and you back those up, I think it's eight. Eight of the wavy washers and in between every two you get a flat washer. And they're, and they're, they're just thin little washers. But the trick is when you put on this friction disc that it, it can't reside on that clutch plate. I'm trying to show you here. It can't reside there. That's when you know that you have the right amount. When you can push it in there and it'll touch, okay. But if you can't push this back into that plate, you've got too many washers. Okay. So you put this the friction disc on. Then the next thing that you put on is a is a washer that's probably about uh, 16th of an inch, maybe three millimeters, somewhere in that area. So then you take and you put this on over the friction disc. Okay, next up are your actuator cams. Now the cams are a little bit tricky because they're, they're to be offset. If you put the first cam on and the next cam on like this, and you can line these shoulders up. See how it's lined up here? And it's lined up here now. I'll take another angle here so you can see it. See how they're, see how they're lined up here? And on the other side, they're also lined up. This is no good. So what you need to do is take, take one of them off, flip it over. So now, when one side's lined up, the other side's way offset. This is when you're right. Okay? So separate them out a little bit and then you take your, your fork arm and you make sure that, the, that this is facing toward the front of the tractor. We're, we're away, from the, away from the clutch mechanism. And put a little dab of, take a little dab of grease, a little, not a lot, because these are going to be dust magnets. And you put it on the ends here and here, just on both sides, just a little bit. If you put that on too heavy, it's just going to be a dust magnet and, you're gonna, and it's going to end up creating problems for you. So then you pull this out and you put your clutch fork in the cam and you put the other cam on. Okay? And when it's on, it should be, it should slide together like this and it won't line up. You'll have this alignment on each side. Okay? So then, the next thing that goes on is this big machine washer. Let's see if I can get it here. This big machine washer. And it goes on, and it stays on that ridge. Now, if this falls down here like this, it no work. Not, won't, even, won't even come close to working. But you put this on here, and you keep this right on that shoulder. See, it's on that shoulder. All right. Now the next thing that goes on, and this this is this was a trick for me, and I, I didn't get it until tonight. Take your take your shoulder bolt here, and you clean it up real good, and you make it so it, it's shiny. And you take and you put it on. Now the internet clearly shows this bolt going on. The pictorials clearly show this this shoulder nut going on. And when it goes on, let's see if I can get this thing started here for you. When this thing goes on, the flat side goes toward the engine. Let me see. Threads on that aren't too clean. Let 
All right, so, so the threads go on. It goes all the way back to the end. You see how that thing fell off of there? If I were to tighten this down, this would not work. So you make sure that it stays up there. Now here's the trick. Leave this a little bit away from here and take your, the nut, the, the, uh, this nut that's got the ridge for the shoulder in there, just clean this up inside here so it's perfect. And then put a tad bit of grease in there. Just a tiny, tiny bit. So now this, when you put this on over that nut, it will create a little bit. See, and even here, it's too far. See, I put it on, and it's too far because there's no edge here. So you back it off just a little bit, and then you slide it back. See how there's a tiny bit of an edge there? So now I'm going to crank it in just a little bit so there's just enough room for these concave washers. There's two of these. In the concave washer, one goes on here, and it should sit on that shoulder just like that. And the next one goes, and when, when you put this on, there's now a, a, a spacer. And there's a, a tiny, a narrow side and a wide side. Well, the wide side is made for that spring washer, for the convex washer. So take and you put this on here, and you put the... And you put the spacer on. I'm trying to do this with one hand. You put the spacer on here. Now, this goes on like this. So now the, the two convex washers, or the two, yeah, the two convex washers are against one another. And so now you put the fan on. Put the fan on. Then you'll put a flat washer on. Put the flat washer on, sorry. Put a flat washer on, and then you put your, your, your nut on the front. Okay. This is how the assembly goes. Now, you make sure that this washer here, right here in the middle, rides on that ridge. Because if that assembly does not move, it's never going to work. If that assembly does not move, your clutch will never work. P pull this out. So you have some play in there. So you got some play in there. And this is with the clutch rod pulled forward toward the front of the engine. So now I could take this nut, the big nut, and take your wrench here. I don't even know what kind of wrench this is called. But you turn this until there's just a very tiny bit of clearance there. Tiny. So it's almost touching. I think the, the uh, spec is two thousands. So you'll turn this nut until there's almost two thousandths play. When there's, all, when there's only two thousandths play in, in this area right here, in that gap between the friction plate and the disc, when there's just two thousandths play, then you take and you hold this nut, this big one, hold this in place, and you tighten this one here up to specs, and I think it, the front nut, and you tighten it up to 40, to 40 foot pounds. And this should be just about enough to collapse these these convex washers. So when they, they uh, collapse, creates a lot of force from here through this, from here through this uh, shoulder bolt onto this washer, which pushes this assembly and in turn the clutch right into the friction disc. So what it looks like is when I pull this, when I pull this actuator here, when I pull this forward, it clicks and locks. I, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try to do this with one hand here. So so you can kind of see it. So I'm going to tighten this up. So I, I'm tightening this up. And the trick is make sure that that flat washer stays on that shoulder. Because if it doesn't. All right. So now uh, when you get to, about the clearance. And I'm just going to guess. Oh, there's still too much there. That's way too much play. So now I'm going to take this. I'm going to try to get this one hand here. And if you hold this thing like this, you tighten this down so there's just a little bit of so there's just a little bit of play here. Okay, so now that now you just take and you hold this kind of hard with one hand. Hold this 
in this position right here and you tighten this down to the 40 foot pounds and when this tightens down now when you pull this you, you'll hear it click you can kind of hear it pop a little bit when you pull the clutch back you'll kind of hear it pop a little bit but that's only because I'm doing this with one hand and I don't have it tight but when that's tightened in your 40 foot pounds this thing will pop and when it pops you're in place and your clutch is working properly Okay, I hope this helps someone because it took me a long time to figure it out. And uh, now that I got it, I hope it helps any, someone else. So thank you. Uh, uh, click subscribe and rate my video. Have a good one.